Hey guys, Justin here with DataSpark, and today I want to show you how you can do competitive keyword research. As you know, keywords are one of the best ways to get organic traffic to your listings. And what you really want to know when you're starting out is what are the keywords that I should be competing for? What are the ones I need to be putting in my titles and my descriptions in order to show up on those results? So the way you can do this is to look at your competitors, see what keywords they're winning against, and then optimize your listings for those. So what I'm going to do here, there's, I'm going to show you three different ways to do this. And the first one is to simply go to the area where you are competing, where you're selling your products. And here you can see Spring Valley is dominating this keyword. So let's figure out, let's look at the Spring Valley brand by just picking up one of their items here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and in our Chrome extension, we have keyword information. If you scroll down here to the bottom, we'll show you exactly which keywords this item is ranked for. So you can see here that this product, uh, the number one keyword it's ranked for is zinc. The Walmart rank is number 827, meaning of all of the keywords that are on Walmart, this one is ranked number 827 in the amount of traffic that is going to it. So it's a popular keyword. Uh, these ones are lower in keywords in, in, in traffic and popularity. And you can see that this item ranks number one for that keyword. So it's getting a lot of traffic from this keyword. It's also ranked number one on zinc supplement. And you can see there are quite a few keywords where many of them, this is the number one ranked product in that. So this is where it's getting most of its traffic. Now you can go item by item and every item you can look up these keywords and see what are the important keywords uh, for, for this particular item and overall for the brand. So that's the first way. <clears throat> the second way is through our Google Sheets. So if you come over here, and I'll put a link in the description of how you can get our DataSpark Keyword Explorer. But what I'm gonna do is I want to pull up this entire brand. So this is Spring Valley. So I'm gonna come over here to back to DataSpark, and I'm gonna come into the advanced search. Okay, I'm going to click on the brand, I'm going to put in Spring Valley, and I'm going to go ahead and say search. Now what this is going to do is bring up every item for this brand so that then I can go and get all the keywords for the, the brand overall, and that's going to give me a lot of information. Okay, I'm going to export this. And then I'm gonna copy all of these Walmart IDs over into a, a new Google Sheet, which I've done previously here. So I pasted all these ones right here. And then what you do is you're gonna select all of these. You're gonna come over to Extensions, to DataSpark, to the Keyword Explorer. I wanna get a products keyword list. And I'm gonna click on this button and it's going to do it for the entire range. Now, I've already got this tab created over here where I've run this, but normally what I'd do is I would just come here, and I'm gonna want it, I want it in just this advanced, this sheet right here, no formatting, and I would hit run, and it's gonna pull back this information. Now, let me describe to you what this is giving you. So, this was one of the IDs that we put in here. Uh, the product name is the Spring Valley Lemon Charcoal Cleanse, and you can see that it ranks on this keyword right here, uh, lemon and gripe water, okay, and each of these. So here are all the keywords that this item ranks for. Now these, that now we have a bunch of information about these keywords. This keyword, lemon, is ranked number 2,562 on Walmart. Uh, it's ranked number 7,194 on Amazon. Uh, if it's blank, it means it doesn't go into the top 1 million, which are the ones that we, we track for Walmart. And then you have a lot of information about the, the there's uh, the top 80 items on Lemon. They do an estimated sales of 155,000 units, um, and that's revenue of 6.9 million. And you can see what the 30-day selling price, the review count, uh, the average reviews, what are the top product groups, the top brands, um, a lot of information. You can also see where this product is on this uh, on this keyword. So. This lemon charcoal cleanse, even though it ranks for this lemon keyword, it's showing up in product position number 76. So that means that if you come to Walmart and you type in lemon, 
it's not even showing up on the first page. This is product position number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so on and so forth. They have about 40 on the page. It's number 76, so it's going to be at the bottom of the second page um, in terms of keyword rank. So not a very important one. So this is basically has the entire uh, competitive landscape of this brand, uh, Spring Valley, what keywords they rank for, uh, all the information about those keywords, and then where each of the products. Now, what I do is when I've worked with clients is we'll put in your brand and your competitor's brand, and then we can do a comparison like this, where we say, all right, what are the very best keywords um, that your competitor is ranking for? And that is, in this case, vitamin C. Uh, it's ranked number 34 on Walmart. It's a very good keyword. This competitor, has, this is Spring Valley, has 10 items that is ranking against that keyword. Uh, the brand that I'm evaluating this for has zero. Uh, the competitor has, uh, the, the best product is ranked number one for vitamin C versus this, uh, again, we don't have any that are ranked there. So you can very quickly see where are the, what are the gaps that you need to fill in if you're really wanting to grow your brand, if you're in this supplement space and you're wanting to, to start taking some of the share, some of the traffic that's going to Spring Valley, here are the important keywords that you need to start competing against. Um, so that's the second way. The third way is you can go right to our API where we have this information. So in a similar way, you can take any of these items that are on here and we have our API and we have API documentation out there where you can put those items in there or a list of items and it's going to return it back in a JSON format, um, all that information that you just saw in that spreadsheet. This is great if you already have your own dashboards, you already have your own applications where you, you want this data, you can use this to integrate it right into your experience so you're always aware of how you're ranking on keywords, how your competitors are ranking on keywords, where your gaps might be, um, and really optimize your business. So if you need help with any of this, let us know. Happy to jump on a call, do a demo, work with your team to make sure you guys are getting the information that you need. But I hope that helps seeing the, the, seeing the three ways of doing this. One by one, just using the Chrome extension or the website. Uh, two is going to the Google Sheets where you can do it much more in bulk and mass and have it right there in a spreadsheet. And third, through the API if you want to integrate it into your existing dashboards and applications. All right, thanks.